morning, everybody, and welcome to Florida Bee. Good morning, everybody. I am in a very excitable mood because I am in my favourite park today, and that is Animal Kingdom. And for those of you who don't know, Animal Kingdom, it's an animal park. How else can I explain it? There is lots of things to see, do, eat, and we are heading off to Tusker's house for breakfast, which is my first ever Walt Disney World character experience, isn't it? Character dining. Yeah, character dining, it is, my first ever one. Character experiences. Oh yeah, okay, fair. Character dining. So I'm very excited to meet all of Mickey and the gang in their safari gear. And then later on, we're going to Ohana for dinner, which is my favorite dinner ever at Polynesian Resort. Very good day for you then. Yeah, it's a pretty good day. Look at the sun. It's Animal Kingdom and I'm buzzing. Sunrise. But the sun, I don't know, I don't even know where it is, gone. Behind you over there. I can't find it. Anyway, right there. where? Yeah. yeah, but it's not picking up on the camera. Anyway, it's a very beautiful day. <laughs> That's sunrise, guys. Right over there. Chantel's sense of direction is terrible. What can I say? <laughs> Look at my cute little parents. They've never been to Animal Kingdom. This is the only park they've never done. They have done Hollywood Studios. They've done Magic Kingdom, and they have done oh, Epcot literally only over the space of two days. So this trip, they are getting a full experience, which they're absolutely shattered, bless them. But they're doing well, they're keeping up. So some people are so not in- the older generation, <laughs> we have a park map <laughs> where we can navigate around the park quite easily without relying on our phone in case the signal goes. <laughs> That's great! <laughs> Why have you been waiting for so long for this moment? Love it! I'm trying to re-navigate ourselves around the park. I nearly took us to Tiffin's restaurant, which is not the restaurant we are going to. Chantelle always takes the mickey out of me, if she's a pun. <laughs> um, for me uh, doing research, she always... <laughs> makes fun of me and going, research this, research that. But she always goes in the wrong direction. I always know where I'm going, so. Research is key. Pays to research, people. It does pay to research. I'm so excited for our checkers breakfast. I'm I'll let you know how much in. it costs as well. Are you just checking in? Perfect. Checking in. So because we're staying off site, um, there obviously is early entry into the parks for those Disney resort guests that are staying at Disney. But because we have a five past eight reservation to Tuskers, we have been allowed to enter the park about 10 minutes before it actually opens so my parents are waiting to get in but we're heading over to Tuskers now so that's kind of like a perk we are checked in perfect let's go so Tuskers house is located in Africa and it's just here guys it smells amazing we're about to check in I'm so excited. So Tusker's House is apparently a family style breakfast. So we'll show you everything that we have and they're also going to bring out some jungle juice which I hear is, is next level. So I'm super excited about that. Oh, here's our jungle juice right now. I can imagine. Thank you so much, Ricky. Thank, Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. And also, the characters are going to come out and I think we get to meet Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Daisy, I think. So I don't think Minnie's here, I'm not sure, but we're kind of got a good spot. I'm so excited. I'll let you also know how much it costs because I don't think it's um, cheap. Well, I'll let you know. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bye. So we have a breakfast platter full of Mickey waffles, Simba waffles, wedges. These are so good. Some, uh, I think these are like just sausage meat, um, bacon, eggs, and then a breakfast curry, which is absolutely delicious. I didn't think I would like curry for breakfast, but I do. Uh, we've got some fruit. And this is the amazing jungle juice, which is absolutely divine. It tastes like tropical juice. And now we're about to meet Mickey. Highly, highly recommend Tusker. Which we're going to say, Tusker House for food. It was amazing. The whole character experience was so worth it. It came to a total of eighty nine dollars. Yeah, is that way? Um, yeah, it came to eighty nine dollars, which is a lot of money. But you get a lot of food there, and you get the character experience. Yeah, we couldn't even finish the food. That's how much it was. Now I'm quite a big eater. Yeah, you are a very big eater. And the jungle juice. What do you reckon? Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a like back in the UK, we've got a tropical juice, so it's similar sort of tasting to that. Yeah, I would think that's a really good comparison. It is a fruit juice. So we're just going to go and catch up with the parents now, but it is definitely a worthwhile character breakfast. We all loved every second of it. They were so interactive and amazing. But yes, we're going now. Spend the rest of the day in Animal Kingdom. So there is no better way to digest a Tusker House breakfast than standing in a 45 minute queue waiting for the Kilimanjaro Safari. I needed just a minute just to digest everything because I feel so incredibly slow. <laughs> Um, I absolutely love the Kilimanjaro and if you go really early in the morning as well which I feel like it's the best time to go because when all the animals are awake and you get a bit more of a better interaction with them but yeah it's just such a great ride and now I've come to where the gorillas are which is super cute but favourite Mum, you need a little hat. How much are they? Oh you look so cute. You gonna get it? We are now doing something a little bit different that I haven't done before and it's where you can meet some animals and stroke them. I think it's like goats and things but I've yeah. not done it before so it's kind of interesting. Bear in mind I've been to Walt Disney World quite a few times. It's nice to always yeah, try so something new so we're heading off there now. Head over 
to the brushes area, pick a brush up and you can stroke them. It's so cute. Does that feel nice? Is that nice? such a cool place guys you can pick up brushes and pet the animals and it's such a chilled vibe here I absolutely love it and inside I think there's like an animal care center where you can see some of the animals being cared for and it's literally just a train ride away so yeah I have never done this before this is a little secret gem here hidden at Animal Kingdom and it's really shaded as well so if you need a little bit of time to cool down pick up a brush and go and pet some animals Right back there is a veterinary yeah. operation room and there's no animals being checked over at the moment but you guys kind of got a rough idea. There's lots of reptiles and stuff to see here, lots of insects um, and if you've got a bit of trigger warnings then don't come here if you've got phobias but it's really really cool. There's also a drawing class which you can also check into, it's about half an hour long. So just over there they are doing a daily check on a gecko and they're just checking its weight which is so cute. Oh, I know. Correction, it's a chameleon. Oh, oh Nick, thank you. Oh. That's so cool. So cool. We are now heading to Asia to go on Cali River Rapids. We are ready to get wet. Fun fact for you guys, well, it's probably not a fun fact, but I have never, ever, ever got wet on this ride. In fact, a lot of the rapids, today I might, yeah, today might be the day but I seem to have some kind of lucky star over me that most of the water rides, with the exception of Popeyes and now Infinity Pools at SeaWorld, I have never got wet on any of the rides and I don't know how I've managed it. But how are you finding my Animal Kingdom, Mum? Oh, I love it. It's good, isn't it? I found something. It's good. Oh, my mum has found something she wants to go and see. There's just so much to see and do. And just like that, there's Kevin. So today was the day that I finally got wet on the rapids at Animal Kingdom. First time ever in the whole time I've been coming to these parks. The queue was ridiculously long, like ridiculously long. And I forgot the ride itself is literally over within like a few minutes. So we would definitely recommend not queuing personally for the longer than half an hour because we don't think it's worth it. And there's up amazing rapids around other parks here in Orlando. So yeah, I finally got wet. We're now exiting the park and we are going to go quickly get changed because we have a very early reservation for Ohana. I actually forgot how early it was. It's at like quarter to four. More food. But it's my favourite restaurant, so that's the only time we could get. So we have excitingly come now to the Polynesian and there's a monorail going straight past, which is awesome. This is my most favorite restaurant. I know I've already mentioned that before today, but we are off to Ohana for an evening dinner. It is very early. Our reservation is in five minutes, but I'm excited to take my parents for the very first time and let them see what all the fuss is about. It's just such a nice chilled vibe and I'm very, very excited just to get back there. But yeah, we're gonna go and eat now and I'll share with you guys everything. Oh, 
So we are just starting with our starters, and they are pineapple bread bit. with some gorgeous salad, which Liam is dressing with vinaigrette right now. Yeah. It's just going to mean as well that now, if we've got any leftover oh, food, we can so take it home up. with us. Which is kind of <laughs> we never able to be able fancy to with it. Though. So any leftovers get in a takeaway box, which there's always so much food, so there's potentials for leftovers here. So what they do now, rather than bringing them out on skewers, they bring them out on these hot plates. So we've got a range of chicken, chicken steak and shrimp, right? Chicken steak, shrimp, chicken wings. So I think it's steak, chicken thighs, shrimp, chicken wings, chicken dumplings, noodles, salad, pineapple bread, and long stem broccoli. It's so tasty. Butter. Yeah. And butter. Vinaigrette. And the best is yet to come, which is the banana bread. The banana bread pudding. I mean, the, meat, the meat's the best in it, but I like the banana bread. <laughs> One, two, three. So our amazing server, Cousin Patty, has just brought us over this congratulations plate for getting engaged. And now we're going to tuck into the amazing banana bread pudding with caramel sauce. It's my favourite dessert in the whole of Hot Disney World. So yeah, let's eat. We have just finished up at Ohana and it was just as amazing as what we remember. In fact, even better because it just had that little extra magic as you guys would have seen in the vlogs. But yeah, it was fantastic. I feel so full. I feel like Augustus Gloop today. I'm eating so Crazy much though, food. I literally feel like I could be rolled into bed. That, but it was just well, amazing. The service is just fantastic. They just make you feel so at home and so welcome. And that's one of the things I love about the Polynesian. It's just very homely. I actually think you would suit that. Oh, that's well cool. It's so cool. That is, that is really good. Look at that. I like how like 90s that's, it looks, isn't really it? really cool. I like that. How much is it? What's it 15 years of? 59.99. I don't know what the 15 years is it for. It's like a retro like. So cool. Who knows? We missed out on these ones, guys. We've gone from the Magic Band Plus, but these are like the special 50th anniversary, 50th anniversary Magic Band. Because I've got a few. And we missed out. Because I've got a Magic Band Plus. This resort is just something else. Liam and I have been talking about honeymoons before we've been even been talking about weddings, but we said we would absolutely love and adore to stay at this resort and also the contemporary. <laughs> There's so many places to choose from. We'll see where we are in the future and if we're lucky enough to be able to stay in one of these resorts, that would be incredible. But this one is just the best chilled vibe ever. I love it. I feel so happy and content right now. Oh my goodness. These are the overwater bungalows. They are just absolutely gorgeous. But they do cost a bomb. And then look at the beach. I love this resort. <laughs> I actually think I might end the vlog here guys and call it a night because I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the time with the family but if you have enjoyed this video give it a massive thumbs up and if you'd like to see more make sure you hit the subscribe button for future videos and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video on this very squeaky swing. I think it was a bit of oil in June. I think it actually flies <laughs> off it. And as our friends at the Polynesian would say, Aloha. Aloha. <laughs>